My name is Wendy. Welcome to my channel. I, in this channel, I share my experience as I go through my bachelor's degree at WGU. Um, my major is data management and analytics, and I, I'm here to share my, the completion of my first course. The first course that I finished is Introduction to IT, C182. And just a little bit about the course itself. It covers the history of computing from the evolution of computers and their users to hardware and software to networks and scripting and programming, uh, data management, and the ethics of business. So um, the ethics, I mean, of business in IT, my bad. But um, so it's a basically a very general course that covers such a variety of different aspects of um, IT world, IT systems, the different roles within the industry, and um, a brief introduction into data management. So in terms of complexity level for the course, I think it's fairly on the easy side, only because it doesn't really dive deep into specific concepts. If there was a section of the course that I think was really more of the, of the challenge out of all the other subjects, I think that portion was the scripting and programming. However, I think everything else was something that was very generalized. That being said, um, I am now 19 days into the month when I started my course and started my WGU journey. And I have to say that I think that I took actually just a disclaimer. I actually took the examination and passed it yesterday, so that was on the 18th. And so I had about 18 days into the month, and I feel like um, that's still fast compared to a typical four-year or two-year institution. However, I think that when I look at how I invested my time, or rather, how I managed my attention, I think that I can do better moving forward. To be honest, and the reasons I say this is. I had access to my course in the beginning of the month, so that was the very first, and I quickly realized that my, my initial plan, my initial study plan, wouldn't really work with my work schedule. Now, I worked 10 to 12 hours, three days a week, and that schedule didn't allow me to have consistent study, day, study hours every single day. And I think that that is a major change that I'm going to be making moving forward to be able to establish a consistent amount of hours that I can study every single day. I think there is a lot to be benefited from just committing and showing up, even if it's one hour or two hours, but that being the standard every single day. So, of course, I Googled um, whatever I could find. And I found a really cool blog um, called Cool Data. And the author of the article in this blog um, talked about time management for data analysts. And even though I think the initial target audience for that article were, was for people who are already working as data analysts, as in professionals, but I think that it can apply to aspiring data analysts or even just students in general. So. The author mentions a couple of things that I think are really helpful, and I'm going to have that article in the link down below, so make sure to go and check it out. I think it's really helpful. And um, one of the things that the author mentions is that really time isn't something that we can manage, but rather attention is what that is the element that we ought to be managing. So that being said, I really had to look at where am I placing my attention? So when I'm not at work, what am I doing when I get back home? Am I spending too much time watching YouTube shorts? Am I playing games when I ought to be studying? Am I doing a chore or distracting myself in any other way? So these are some of the honest things that I have to really explore. And I, I'm doing that currently, and I'll be sure to update that as well in this journey. So. Um, the other thing is within the article, the Cool Data Blog article, the author includes an Excel sheet that one can download. And I think it is a helpful beginning for anyone who might be wondering, where do I begin in planning out my, my work and, and managing 
and prioritizing the things that I ought to be doing. So make sure you check out the article. If you if you end up looking at the Excel sheet and not it not really working out for you, that's fine. But I think there's a lot of value to be taken from the content of the article itself. So guys, um, I'm just really excited. I'm really um, blessed and honored to be able to have this opportunity and to share it with anybody out there who might be thinking of going back to school, who might be um, going beginning their school, whatever it might be, or, or starting a new learning journey. I encourage you to keep on with it. I'm also like in the same boat. And um, I feel like if I keep on just showing up and trying, I believe that good will come from it. So thank you so much for watching this video um, and have a great day, guys. Bye.